Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock, ring letters through your door. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. It was a bright spring morning in Greendale, and Postman Pat had stopped at the post office to collect the mail. Off we go, Jess. Soon he was on his way. When he arrived at Greendale Farm, young Tom Pottage was crying. What's all this? said Pat. Tears on a Tuesday? That won't do. Let's see if there's a sweet in my pocket. There was, as there always is. There, that's better, said Pat, as he gave Tom a shiny toffee, and Tom tried to smile again. It's this reading book, said Mrs. Pottage. He's off school with a cold, and Katie's brought his reading book home. But he can't seem to learn his letters at all. I had an ABC when I was little, said Pat. That helped. I'll tell you what, young Tom. We'll make an ABC. How can we do that, Pat? said Tom, smiling. I'll get a notebook at the post office and we'll put a new letter in each day. You'll soon learn then. Oh, yes, said Tom. And you can do the pictures, said Pat. Bye. I like drawing, said Tom. The next day, Pat brought a red notebook. He also brought a small tin. Now, Tom, he said, have a look in here. He opened the tin. A tiny creature ran about in it. A little ant, said Tom. On the first page of the notebook, Pat wrote, A is for ant.
When Katie came home, she brought her book of sums. She wrote in Tom's new book. A is for add. Mother looked in the larder. She put some fruit on the table. She wrote, A is for apple and apricot. The next day, Pat looked at all the drawings in the book. What about B? said Pat. Just then, Miss Hubbard arrived on her bike. B is for bike, shouted Tom. So Pat wrote, B is for Miss Hubbard's bike. Miss Hubbard drew her bike for Tom. Tom was helping to clear the breakfast things. B is for butter, he said. His mother drew the butter in its dish and wrote, B is the yellow butter in the dish. Bye, said Pat. I'd better be buzzing along. At tea time, Katie drew another picture and wrote a big bad bee. Next day, Tom had gone back to school. Pat made a drawing on the next page and wrote, C is for my cat, Jess. With his curly tail. Likes cream. Each day someone added a new page to Tom's book. When Tom came home from school, the first thing he did was to look at the new page in Postman Pat's ABC. Alf Thompson called. He drew his dog and wrote, D is my dreamy dog. Katie drew. 
brew a dish for the dog's drink. Then Dad came in and drew the donkey in the top field. Donkey! The next day, Tom had an egg for his breakfast. Egg! On Saturday, Tom saw a frog in the pond. Tom drew it when they went home. Frog. Sam Waldron came with his mobile shop. Mrs. Pottage bought fish fingers, Plan. and some kitchen foil. Tom asked Peter Fogg for something beginning with G. He looked around the yard and drew a goose. I don't like the way it hisses at me, said Katie. On Sunday, they all went to church. They saw Granny Dryden. She dropped her glove. She gave Tom a gumdrop when he picked up her glove. At Sunday school, Katie drew Miss Hubbard's hat. drew a hen that had walked into the churchyard. On Monday, Katie and Tom had ice cream for tea. Pat had a puncture and had to jack up his van, so he drew his jack in the book. 
Jack. On Tuesday, there was jam and jelly for tea. And Peter Fogg said, Just the job! Wednesday, they had kippers for tea. Good morning. I've just boiled the kettle, said Mrs. Pottage, when Pat called next morning. So Pat stayed for a cup of tea. He drew the kettle in Tom's book. Kettle. his letters now, said Mrs. Pottage. He knows all the words in his ABC so far. On Friday, Katie said she had seen a lark on the way to school. So she drew that. Lark. One of Mrs. Thompson's hens stole Pat's keys, and he had to climb a tree with her ladder to get them back. He drew the ladder. It was so high, said Pat. I was really scared. On Saturday, Mrs. Pottage bought a big melon at the market. Katie and Tom played in the barn. Katie saw a mouse. Tom drew it in his ABC. I once had a pet mouse, said Pat, <laughs> just like the one in your picture. Sam Waldron called again with his mobile shop. And Tom bought some nutty nougat with his pocket money and gave a piece to Katie.
On Sunday, it was time for church again. Miss Hubbard played the organ. And the Reverend Timms gave each child an orange. Katie and Tom had pie and peas and potatoes and pancakes for their dinner. Then played cards. Tom drew the queen. Playtime, all the children saw a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Tom had taken his ABC to school to show his teacher. So he painted the rainbow in it using all the paints in the box. They had sausages and sweet corn for school dinner. And Lucy Selby drew them for Tom in his ABC. On Tuesday, Pat's van was stuck in the mud. Peter Fogg brought the tractor to tow Pat out. Tea for tractor, said Tom. And tea for Tom, said Pat. Then drew both in the ABC and wrote Tom and the tractor towing Pat's van. Off we go, Jess. On Wednesday, the wind blew the Reverend Tim's umbrella inside out. That helped him to put it right again and drew it in Tom's book. Umbrella. There was a bring and buy sale on Thursday in the village hall. Granny Dryden bought a vase and drew it for Tom. Vase. It's just the thing for my violets, she said. And it looks very valuable.
Ted Glenn bought a watch. It has a wobbly winder, he said. I'll soon mend that. Can you draw it? said Pat. Willingly, said Ted. So he did, and wrote underneath, a watch with a wobbly winder. On Friday, Tom played music on a xylophone at school. I can play it or draw it, said Tom, but I can't spell it. So his teacher helped him. Xylophone. On Saturday, they all went to the seaside for a treat. They went to see the lions and the tigers in the zoo. Y is for yellow on the giraffe's neck, said Katie. Yellow. I know how to end my ABC, said Tom, looking at the notices when they went in. And I can spell it myself. Zoo. Cheerio! Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat. And his black and white cat Early in the morning Just as day is dawning He picks up all the post bags in his van Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing And the day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man.